Are you feeling stuck between Clipped Up and Notion for your business? The right project management tool can make all the difference in your success. So it's really crucial to make the right decision. Hi, I'm Shirley, and today we'll be comparing the different features and functions of ClickUp and Notion. So don't worry, we'll help you pick the right tools for your business needs. By the end of this video, you'll understand the different factors to consider when deciding between ClickUp and Notion. Let's get started. Let's start with structure and organization. So ClickUp is primarily focused on task and project management. So it has a clear structure on how the tasks and projects will be set up in the hierarchy. With ClickUp, you have a workspace, spaces, folders, lists, tasks, subtasks, and checklists. With Notion, on the other hand, the structure is more flexible and versatile. It's like working on a blank slate. And so with Notion, you can create a database, a wiki, or SOP. So if you are looking for something that is working on data or knowledge management, then Notion might be the better choice. Next, let's talk about user interface and ease of use. So with ClickUp, it's pretty easy to use. And here you can have different views. You have boards, lists, and calendar views. So it's more straightforward for managing tasks and projects. With Notion, in the other hand, it has a steeper learning curve due to its flexible block-based structure. So however, once you get accustomed to it, Notion offers an unparalleled level of customization for your workspace since you can go ahead and combine different types of content into your Notion page. Next is integrations. So with ClickUp, there are a lot of third-party tools that you can integrate. As you can see, you can integrate Slack, HubSpot, Cloud Storage, Zapier, Make, and many, many more. And so if you are using a lot of these time tracking tools or third-party tools, ClickUp would be the best for you. Notion, on the other hand, does not have a lot of integrations, but you can go ahead and integrate their third-party API where you can go and create your own custom integrations. Let's talk about individuals versus team. So with ClickUp, there are tasks that can be easily assigned to specific users, or you can even assign it to an entire team if you'd like. And so it's very easy to collaborate with others since you can go ahead and tag them here in the comments. You can mention their name or even assign comments to someone else. Well, with Notion, you can also go ahead and collaborate with others in here, but it's not very easy to assign something to others unless you go ahead and create that column in here where you will be entering their username. But with Notion, it's more of individual focus. And so the individual is the one really doing most of the work for entering most of the data in Notion. And there are some features where you can work on others real time and you can tag and comment them here as well. But Notion is more focused on the individual and where they can have their own personal hub. Next, let's go to views. So ClickUp has an abundant view where you can add here under views different kinds of ways to view a task. So you have a list view where you can organize your tasks and sort, even filter and group them according to your category. You have your board view, which is a Kanban board view where you can easily drag and drop your tasks between columns, which are then the statuses. You have a calendar, which is of course your view if you want to plan, schedule, or even work for um, social media content. Then you have the got view, where it's also similar to the timeline view, where you can have schedules and see them in a timeline view. You have a team view, you have table view, which is similar to 
see the task in an Excel form or Google Sheet. You have mind map, you have a workload view, activity map, and so much more that you can even embed as a view. With Notion, you have a more customizable approach to views. So you can also go ahead and create your databases, which are like a table view. You can go ahead and create a wiki or even create your own sort of database pictures of what you want to collect. And so it's very customizable. So you have here sort of a gallery view. You can also have a Kanban view where you have your statuses as well. And you can also um, sort them out by assignee or by project. So yes, you can also have a calendar view in Notion as well if you're more into social media content or launch management. So the difference between QuickUp and Notion views is that Notion is highly flexible and customizable. You can create your own unique view of however you want it, while QuickUp's views are more focused on tasks and project management. So next, let's go to Docs. Here we have a QuickUp doc open. And so ClickUp's documentation is called Docs. So it allows you to create and organize documents. You can even load a document template that ClickUp has. They already have here um, templated docs that you can use. And you can go ahead and use this as your, for your SOPs, product guides, or employee handbooks. So again, users in ClickUp can collaborate real-time and docs and even go ahead and mention someone here as they go ahead and create documents. With Notion, on the other hand, users can create pages within Notion. So they can go ahead and create them as wikis or as document or knowledge bases. So Notion offers a range of templates. If you'd like to just launch a new page from a template, we can go ahead and go to templates and just select what type of uh, template you want to have. And you can just go ahead and load it and you already have a doc. And so with Notion's page building functionality, it allows for a high degree of customization and you can again easily add images, videos, and other media to your document. With Notion as well, other users can go ahead and collaborate real time and comment on these documents. All right, let's talk about dashboards. So with ClickUp's dashboard, it's designed to give you an overview of all the tasks and projects that is happening in your workspace. And ClickUp's also integrated with timekeeping so that users can keep track of how much time they're spending on different tasks and projects. So since ClickUp's dashboard is geared toward tasks and project management, so it's very useful for them to see where they at or where their teams are at when working on different types of projects. So it's very easy to create a dashboard in ClickUp so just go ahead and click plus to create a new dashboard, create a custom dashboard, and you can go ahead and get started. So go ahead and add a text block, or you can just go ahead and simply choose from any of the dashboards that are already existing. Now, going to Notion, it's more of not a dashboard, but Notion works like a home base for users. So again, it can be customized to include various widgets, such as a to-do list. You can go ahead and add a calendar view. You can go and add even a news feed of articles. So it's very customizable. So your dashboard can be used as a launch pad for other work-related activities. So Notion's dashboard works like a personal workspace. 
So it's good for individuals who want to keep track of all their work-related activities in one place. So this works like a content outline where, where you can just simply go to the space or location where you are tracking a specific um, where you are tracking a specific goal. So to wrap up, ClickUp's dashboard is more focused on tasks and project management, while Notion's dashboard is more of a personal workspace. Let's talk about customizability. With ClickUp, there are so many things that you can customize. So we discussed earlier how you can add different views to your list and you can go and add different types of custom fields. You have your dropdown, text, you have dates, progress, numbers, checkbox, emails, and so much more. And so you can also define your statuses, not just as to do in progress or complete, but you can also create your templates for statuses or just keep on adding them until you have your own custom statuses. And so here you can like go crazy with PR customizations, like you can filter it, you can group them, or you can even adjust your privacy if you want your list to be public or private. Going to Notion, that is also one of their strengths because it is very customizable. Users can create their own pages from scratch and customize them if they want to also see them as a table view or a board view or calendar or list or gallery view. With Notion, you can also go ahead and embed files. You can embed images or videos. Or let's see here. If I want to embed anything, I just go ahead and add an image or enter a link or embed a video, an audio, even a code or an attachment. So you can go ahead and basically enter whatever you like because it, it looks and acts like a website. So to compare both ClickUp and Notion are very customizable, but they approach it in different ways. Let's talk about pricing. So both ClickUp and Notion has a free plan. With ClickUp's free plan, you have all the things here, all the features. You have 100 megabytes storage, unlimited tasks, unlimited members, and also all the features like docs, whiteboards, view, chat, boards, and all of the things. Now, if you go up to the first paid plan, which is the $5 unlimited plan, you already get unlimited everything as well. That's unlimited storage, integrations, dashboards, automations, and all the custom fields. You already unlock the forms and email in the gut. And so you already get so much even with just the $5 plan. So with their business plan, that's the $12, you get everything in the unlimited plan, plus additional features for team management, advanced reporting, and priority support. So of course, if you get the business plus and enterprise, you're getting more advanced features with your team sharing, subtasks and multiple lists, custom role creation and custom permissions, and so much more. And so with Notion, you do have a free plan, but it's limited to 1000 block storage and basic features and integrations. With a personal plan that is $8 per user per month or $5 per month billed annually, you also have the $15 per month for the business plan. And the difference here is that ClickUp's pricing is based on the number of users, while Notion's pricing is based on features and storage capacity. To sum it up, ClickUp is great for tasks and project management. 
And it's also great for those with small teams or for those with businesses that are scaling. So if you also need better integrations or a lot of automations, then ClickUp would be the best for you. And now if you need more of a database or a knowledge management tool, then you would be best to go with Notion because it's very versatile and customizable. So it's also good for SOPs or wikis, but it's more suited for individuals and small creative teams. And so both tools are really quite evolving and keep on adding new features. So it's just best to keep yourself up to date with all the latest developments. But ultimately the choice between ClickUp and Notion will depend on your business needs and preferences. Hope that helps you.